let's imagine that we're doing like a portal for normal company so I'm going to put uh, like all of the departments on the top okay in this in this case let's use for example the URL to this home page so next one is gonna be legal yes then the new new one is again the same URL it's gonna be delivery delivery department I can this is this enough this is just to have something more not just the regular home link okay we are done also with the navigation next step actually move the ribbon I can show we go to v4 master this is the master page used uh, for this version for master page of the SharePoint site so let's quickly find where is yes this is our title one of the cool features of SharePoint Designer is this select tag option basically you just point to some particular HTML element and to automatically select where it ends yeah. ok so it's this one and here basically I'm just going to move it above the ribbon all of this HTML we can see here is basically the ribbon so let's put it above it or just make it looks nicer and save the version for master and you can see it right away on the side see right now there's the switch so we have the ribbon it's below so let's see the next thing we're going to actually to apply this fading of the top of the title bar so first we need to find see I can see I can see here the structure so I see here the actual the class we need to override is called s4 title yes this is the first one so basically we're going to override this s4 title remember we have common CSS file that we actually linked uh, here in the master page here it is so I'm going to put my custom class within the this common CSS file so it's going body s4 we have to put background oops, image let's pick the correct URL you can see right away I can browse files that are within my SharePoint site so let's go to site assets it's gonna be top navigation background it might require to log in oh perfect I took my credentials so we have also background repeat we need to repeat it by so we can see it yeah right now you see already we have this background with the fading so next thing I'm going to apply this dark purple also on the right side of the header so it looks like one piece in order to do this I'm using my color code to grab exactly the color because I want to make it to looks like smooth very smooth so let's put the background color the, that we just grabbed and the refresh yep you can see right now the whole right part of the header is right now filled with this purple color okay. already start looking very nice one more thing I uh, just want to remove some additional padding around the contoso okay uh, just not okay I don't want to boring you so I'll do it a little bit later next step I'm going to put white color on this one because it's not clearly visible right now so what we do just select the particular link going to inspect element so we can see right away what is the class that is applied to these links 
and in this case actually I see it's S for title H1 a tag and the other one so I'm basically going to override both of these classes so it's going to be body h1 and body h2 what we're going to do here just basically put the color of the text should be white save here it is. This one actually it's, it's, it's too purple because it's not uh, A. It's like standalone text. It's not There's no link there. It's just a text. So we need to overwrite it additionally. It's actually, you can see here, is the H2 tag. So we need basically the same here, but only for the H2 tag. So it's gonna be body dot S for title h2 tag only here we have overriding here to the hyperlink and here it's already become white ok next step let's uh, just prefer to move this on the right because right now I don't really like how it looks when it's next to the logo so I just prefer to be on the right side so basically we're just going to get this Title text. It's actually it is the whole. Uh, it's actual table there. So I just move it on the right side. Going to be body is for title text. Text align right. And we already have it on the right side. So, I think we're pretty much done with the header and the logo, so continue with the top name. Again, the same procedure, we just point the element, go to inspect element, we can see the structure, so I just need to see which CSS class should I overwrite here. It's basically, yes, I can see it, uh, I'm not sure, do you notice, but if I actually point to some particular uh, HTML tag, it uh, the browser automatically highlighted so I can see actually what I'm looking. So it's S for TN. It's body S for TN class. It's the background color again. Pick your oh, no color. Sorry, it's background image. I'm going to use image, pick URL. Okay, so we're going to use the top menu background. Just with the exception, in this case, the background RP to section on X, not on Y. Okay, perfect. Right now, you see we have this dark purple background applied also to the top menu so what's next to apply some additional colors so again I'm going to make the color of the links white because by default they are not clearly visible so here's our CSS again you already know how to do it so body as for Static menu item, let's put color white. Okay, perfect. Right now it's white, so let's also do put some additional coloring of the selected item. As you can see, it's a kind of uh, different class, it's the selected one. So Here I'm going to apply just orange background, so the background color is going to be, let's pick some orange, okay this one, and then the color of the letters should be, uh, yeah let's use this really dark purple from here, 
So we use this combination of orange background and dark purple letters for the selected item also. Then you can see it. Right now it starts looking cool. And the last thing I'm going to show you quickly, because I know it might be really boring by this time. So just first let's go to apply the background also of the left quick links. And we'll be almost done. Yeah, it's called quick launch. Let's see, yes. So put the quick launch. Again, it's gonna be background image. Click URL. It's gonna be the, the third image I'm using from the design images I showed you in the beginning. Okay, it's the left menu background image. It's somewhere else. Background uh, repeat. We need it to repeat by Y. It's actual. This means that uh, the background image should be repeated vertically. Okay, let's save and check the site. Yep, we already have it. See, actual. Here what I'm using it's uh, the opposite fading. On the top header we have fading from light to dark. And here for the left menu I'm using the opposite uh, fading from dark to to actually it's to white. So really it's kind of a really nice effect. And I I just show we have how much here like five, six different, seven different CSS classes we're just using. And we already have uh, yeah, on this browser. We already have pretty good looking site. So in order not to do everything, I just prepared before. It's uh, actually the CSS class how it will look at the end. Basically, it's absolutely the same I showed you. So you can see it's the same classes, the same title text. Also about the header, so I'm going to use this CSS class. But you can see it's not much bigger than the one we already have. So let's just quickly put it here, and you can see it actually contains a little bit more additional coloring for the left part, and pretty much yes, that's it. Of course, I will provide you at the end of this webinar. Everybody who wants, I will provide the CSS classes and the design images I am using for this webinar. So actually, you can have everything you need. A few more things. I am going basically to edit the homepage to add a few more elements.